Did you watch the new Thrones of Decay trailer and think, wow, I really wish the dwarf faction had a land ship? Then this video is going to be for you. This here is the High King land ship mod. In today's video, we're going to be covering it, showing it off, talking about stats, just pretty much showing in battle and everything about the mod. And down below, I'm going to put a link to the mod so you can download it yourself and try it out. First off, let's talk about how it looks in the armament. So obviously, it looks amazing. I love the gold look to it, the patterns, everything about it looks dwarf. And on top of that, it doesn't really have that mod look. You know what I'm talking about? The clipping or anything like that. Everything looks really good on it. So it really, it almost looks like an actually official unit. Weaponry-wise, it has three different weapons. It has the front mouth cannon, which is armor piercing. The turret up top, which rotates, that has dual high explosive ammo cannons. And then on the back quadrant of the tank, you have machine gun turrets, pretty much, Gatlings. And they do a phenomenal job at taking out infantry. I think it's close. They actually seem to do a little bit of explosive damage when they hit. That might be a visual thing, or it actually might be explosive. I'm not 100% sure. But stationary, these things tear everything to shreds. But when you look at it here, moving... I mean, this is where really it becomes overpowered. The fact that it continues to fire while moving... They're like moving towers. I mean, they're, they're just fortresses pretty much moving around the map. Uh, these are extremely OP. Which, obviously, here, you're seeing it against Bretonia Peasants. I just pick on the Bretonia Peasants. I can't help it. That's what I've always done. Uh, I'm biased. And here's a look at the very overpowered stats. Obviously, a tier 5 unit. Armor's at 175, leadership's at 100. Speed 48, which is pretty good. Melee attack 50. Didn't even see it go into a melee. No idea on that stat or defense 25. A weapon strength 440. Good against both types of targets, which is crazy. Has a charge bonus of 60, so yeah, you could charge with it. Uh, ammunition's extremely high. Range is 400, which is crazy again. And the missile strength of 688. Now you're going to be able to see the UI enabled uh, with the damage it puts out and how fast it melts unit with the splash damage and the armor piercing and even the Gatling guns kind of going off on it. This is like an anti-everything kind of weapon system, so it does make it overpowered. But I do think this is the greatest single unit mod currently available in the workshop. It's just very professional looking when you look at the mod itself. There's no visu visual defects or anything that looks off about the mod. So, usually there's something. I can usually tell if something's a mod versus not, and with this, I really couldn't. Look how fast it just melts through him. Which, I play a more defensive dwarf faction, so to me, being a little overpowered for defense isn't that bad. You still have to manage your economy. Well guys, I'm going to put a link for this down in the description. Please check it out. I think it would be awesome for any dwarf player to want to add this to their roster. And I will catch everyone next time where I'll be covering more dwarf mods coming soon.